Autism in Adults, The Invisible Illness. I'm often told I can't be autistic. It shocks people to believe when they hear this so. Lawrence, they say, you're not autistic. You're not displaying any of the symptoms I have so often read about. And I kindly say thank you, but you're wrong. I do suffer the indignities of autism, mostly of which are quite invisible, especially to people who hardly know me. Yes, that is the trouble with us adults with autism. I was diagnosed when I was 47 years old. And it hasn't been easy to suddenly learn that I can be socially inept. I can do things which are not considered doable in the public, or rather in the public's eye. I can be rude. I can be embarrassing. I can be insensitive. I can be all sorts of things any of you don't like to see in people who are considered to be normal. To me, I don't know what normal is because I believe all of us have a little bit of ought in us. That's just how it is. I'd like you to not dismiss people who have got autism or to label them. The last thing I want is to be labelled by you. So, anyway, I just want you to be considerate to people like me with autism and don't think that because I can look you in the eye and that I can have a conversation with you whilst continually looking in your eye and that I can be pleasant, I can be sociable. I can open the door for you. I can let you through the door first. This wasn't how it used to be. I used to be told off for walking through people, for ignoring people. There are still the odd occasion I may ignore you may see right through you but if this be the case it is because of other outside of autism challenges I have one of the major challenges I have is my diet for instance I've eaten gluten and wheat for breakfast this morning but this is my choice I'm aware that it's going to, or rather it is likely to cause me some issues. It could be issues with my digestion, which can be quite uncomfortable. But again, this is my choice. I just think and hope that you can be considerate. I know I'm repeating myself because it's important that you do your best to be considerate to adults like me who have autism. Just because they don't split display the symptoms that you normally associate with people who have autism, particularly children, what you don't know about me is that I have plenty of anxieties. Often these anxieties are brought on by lack of sleep, a bad diet, poor nutrition and generally working much too hard 
and a combination of everything that I've explained to you. So next time you meet someone who is autistic, please don't just dismiss them. Please be aware of the values they can bring you into your life.